Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arcus Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how we can create renders in V-Ray 6.1 for SketchUp. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how we can create some amazing or incredible or super realistic rendering. I only want to talk about the uh, basics in V-Ray. Let's get to work. This is the uh, SketchUp environment that we have in here, and this is the Enscape Assets. But we have some secret about it. If you add Enscape Assets in your environment and run Enscape for the first time, at the second time, V-Ray can detect your objects. And it's really wonderful and good. So, for now, if I click on the uh, Render Interactive in V-Ray, as you can see, it takes a bit time. And after that, you can see the render and the Enscape assets at the same time. And it's really wonderful. It's a tricky point and it can help you to create better realistic renders in V-Ray without using any type of SketchUp trees or heavy proxies. So I'm going to close it in here and I want to talk about the camera shot. Before I do this work, we have the uh, V-Ray for a SketchUp toolbar in here. I'm going to move it in this place. First window related to the asset editor, second related to the chaos cosmos, and the second is the rendering. But the third is the render interactive. You will work with this one most of the time. So I'm going to click on the render interactive, and this is my 3D file and 3D preview of my visualizing architecture project. So I'm going to click on the apart rendering, and I will get out of the rendering mode. So I'm going to click on the uh, camera in here. In the opposite of the Enscape, you use camera view management for setting your camera coordinates. You only need to check out the camera fixer in SketchUp. So I want to look a little bit at the uh, round side. Something like that can be good. And I want to render my job. So I'm going to change my camera to the uh, two-point perspective for better view of this shot. For example, something like that for the test render. So I'm going to click on the working and update my setting and camera in here. So now I want to talk about the V-Ray rendering. I'm going to start my job with the uh, render interactive. When I click on it, it takes a little bit of time. And after that, you can see this preview of your job. I'm going to minimize it in here and sketch up in here as you can see the frame of your job will completely change for solving this problem you need to open the uh, v-ray asset editor in the setting bar turn off the uh, save frame and now you have multiple preview of your job so right now i don't need save frame don't pay attention to this horrible and scary setting it's nothing we will talk about it at the next sessions so I'm going to click on the uh, lighting in here, sunlight, and start my job with the sun. So I'm going to click on the uh, custom orientation, and you can see the changes in your environment. V-Ray is not the uh, real-time rendering. So if you do some works and your system get to the lag or crash time, you need to do this job. You can open the uh, window frame in here, open some window, for example, in this place stop your render and start your render again it takes a little bit of time and after that only the window you selected will be rendered for you and take low value of your cpu or gpu cache so i'm going to continue my job for example i have some lighting near to the morning for example and you can see the changes only in this part of your render as you can see for example my Horizontal angle is some number near to the zero. All right, something like that. It takes a little bit of time. And after that, you can check some type of automatic setting. So my vertical is the 17 and my horizontal is 115. So in the downside, I can change my color mode from the direct or override. I prefer to use filter right now. My multiple intensity related to the sum power. I can change it to the 2 for example. You can see it will burn out your screen and your render. So 1.1 can be normal. Multiple size helps you to control the uh, shadows. Look at this place in here. If I increase it, as you can see, your shadows will be get a little bit 
faded out. So if you want some sharp and normal shadows, hold it in some number about 1.2 in the solid multiplier. And the uh, sky model is something about pretty at all. It can be make your weather a little bit dirty and cloudy. For this reason, you can use PRG Clear Sky or Hosi Katal. Right now, I can use the Hosi Katal and everything is good. If I turn on the clouds, as you can see, clouds will be a prettier for you and it's really useful in your 3D jobs. Right now, I only turn on the clouds. I don't want to work with the setting. So I will close all of these settings in here and close it in there. I'm going to maximize the uh, SketchUp at the uh, background. So as you can see in the uh, toolbar, when I right click on it, I can see very lights. So I'm going to turn them on and move them in some place like that. We have some option which is called light generation. It helps you to create some artificial lights of your 3D model. So I'm going to click on it. It takes a little bit time to update. Don't worry about it. Check the continue option. And in the exterior rendering we have, we don't need interior, so I'm going to click on the exterior. I have sun and sky. I need some altitude variation about the uh, 4 and the azimuth about the uh, 4. 4 to 4, 4 times 4, it means 16 rendering methods. So I'm going to click on the uh, generate option. As a matter of fact, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. All right, I'm gonna escape from the uh, rendering in Enscape. Now I can click on the uh, generate variant. So it takes a little bit of time, and after that, it will calculate some type of automatic lighting best for your render with this type of sunset. It can save your time and energy in the V-Ray rendering because you know V-Ray is one of the heaviest rendering engines in the world and the output of this render is really wonderful. I will be patient and as you can see we have some previews about the lighting. It takes a little bit of time. For example, number two can be good, can be my choose. And I think number three can be better. It completely depends on you and what you want from your render. Number four is not bad. But I prefer to use maybe something like the number 3. It can generate many type of lightings for you. 67%. 78. And I think it's enough for me. Maybe number 2 or number 3 can be realistic. I prefer to use number two and click on the uh, save. I can save this V-Ray lighting scenarios, for example, number one and press save. And I selected right now, if I click on the uh, render interactive at the uh, background, as you can see, it takes a little bit of time. And after that, this lighting will be generated for us. Remember, don't change it. If you want to change it, First of all, you must stop your interactive rendering. So I'm going to close it at the background. This is my V-Ray sound setting, as you can see. So I'm going to click on the window, check out my window to some place like that. I'm going to stop it, move it in this place. And here, I'm going to start it again. I want to work on these cars material, but I don't know how. So I'm going to click on the uh, V-Ray for a SketchUp, move it to this place, V-Ray Asset Editor, Materials, Paint Job, Sample Paint, and pick up the uh, Cars color. So it will detect it for me, PDM Car White. So I'm going to open it, I'm going to check the Edit in V-Ray, it takes a little bit of time and now you have this. So I want more reflection on the uh, car's body and surface. So I'm going to turn on the reflection color a little bit near to the white. And you can see the changes immediately in this window. If you want more reflection, you can turn on the metal less in here. Some number, for example, about 0 0.66. And you can see now we have metallica color 
about our car and job. So 0 0.43 is good. And reflection IOR can be really help us to create some better realistic render. IOR have some big title and Excel book in the internet. You can download it and I will upload the link for you below this video. All the materials have some special reflection IOR. So I think the car is something about 1.39 maybe. I don't, I'm not sure about it, but I only want to test it. I can change the reflection color near to the sun's color. So I prefer to use something like the uh, gold reflection in here. All right, I'm going to close it in there. And I think everything is good for me. For the next material, I can pick the sample paint in here and pick up the glasses of the car. Edit in V-Ray and I can make it a little bit lighter, something like that. Reflection can be increased more to see the details and environment. So uh, I think it's really good working right now. Refraction related to the uh, glasses. I can play with the refraction color as you can see to create better reflections on this window. So the point is that I use some low value resolution and the low quality of the preview related to the low value of the resolution. Don't worry about it. We will fix it out. In the lighting, light gen dom is my generated light in here. Don't touch it because it's used best setting for you. But you can increase the uh, total power of it. For example, 1.7. It takes a bit of time. I'm going to close the uh, window rendering, close it in there, and this is the final shot that we can have in here. So everything is good for me, but I have some problem with some settings. So I'm going to stop the rendering in here, and I want to take some copy of these trees at the other side of my job. So I can click on the uh, rotate option, check the uh, rotate out about 90 degree. And move these double lies trees, for example, someplace like that. A little bit in here. I hope it works in the V-Ray. So uh, everything is good. I can open the V-Ray asset editor in this place. And a little bit minimize it. Click on the paint bucket. Click on the sample paint. For example, if you want to turn this light up in the uh, V-Ray, you can... Check the uh, material. If you don't have any type of material, you can check the uh, glasses. But be careful about that. What is the uh, glass? Don't same with the uh, some other glasses. Right now, I don't want to talk about the lighting. So I want to create some more Metallica tire rings. So I can click on the reflection. Increase the uh, reflection roughness to create some type of a little bit reflected with the dirt and dust so metal is the one and I can add some coat for it so my coat color is something near to the red and the coat amount can be increased a little bit you can see the mixture of it in this preview so coat IOR can be increased a little bit not too much and the next material related to the uh, roof for the roof, I can click on it, select it, and I can use Enscape Material Library. The point is that you can click on the roof and check out your favorite roof. For example, I want to check out one of these shingles, or I can click on the wood and pick up the uh, wood planks in there. Import selection. It takes a little bit of time, and after that. It will download it for us if network helps me. Please download it. So till now, if this content is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. But after that, it will fix out. So I'm going to close it in here. All right, it doesn't matter. Maybe it will get the another time.
all right so as you can see i download these texture for my job i can add it to my environment very simple and easy something like that and it really can help me to create better realistic render of my job so i can open the uh, v-ray rendering interactive another time to see what happened in my rendering shot in here it takes a bit of time and after that v-ray render interactive will be load for us so i'm gonna wait a minute not too much all right as you can see this is the uh, preview of our render and you can see the fine details of it very simple and easy so uh i'm gonna close it in here and click on the working camera in this place I'm going to press save window model info purge unused materials and components so i'm going to click on the uh, va render interactive another time as you can see it takes a little bit of time and after that it will load for you very simple and easy like that so i'm going to click on the uh, va asset editor in here and check out the uh, setting box so uh I can use the camera, play with the uh, exposure. If I increase it, you can see what will happen in your job. And if I decrease it, it will be darker. You can use automatic, but I don't suggest to you because sometimes it will completely burn out your screen. I think some number about 12.10 can be good for this job. I can turn on the uh, save frame. Uh, so I'm going to click on the uh, render output save frame and this is my save frame in here i can use some type of picture resolution or widescreen resolution right now i prefer to use widescreen resolution and in the uh, environment you can turn on the uh, gi calculation it can improve your render but if you use texture it can be work much better at the background i can increase the source power 1.1 and gi about 1.6 it helps you to create brightness in the darker areas and i think everything is good i only want to add some artistic uh, jobs on my house so i'm gonna close the environment in here everything is done for me we will talk about about the render setting at the uh, next tutorials so uh i'm gonna close it in here and so uh i'm gonna add one of these trees near to my camera shot so i will abort the uh, rendering another time click on this one move it a little bit near to my camera click on the working scene again and now i can turn on the render interactive another time it takes a little bit time and after that i can see this tree in front of my camera so i can move it very simple and easy to the end offset of my camera like this to cover all of my area very simple and easy for example something like that can be really good i can move it a little bit on the uh green axis another time on the uh, red axis something like that and to the downside like this as you can see it can help you to create better realistic renders all of these simple points related to the rendering not your system config or your software only related to your ability in working with these type of rendering engines another copy on the uh, red axis it's a little bit not hard work it takes a little bit patient so i can move it to this part of my job and everything is good for me i can move this big tree a little bit to the uh, green axis again something like that to cover my camera completely like this and i will click on the working one in here maximize the uh sketch up so i will click on the v-ray and this is our final render that we have in there i hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks for watching thanks for your support and goodbye